Thanks, Dave. Well, I'm here with the 22nd men's basketball coach in the history of the University of Akron, John Gross. Welcome back to the Buckeye Thank you, Pat. State, sir. Thank you. This has to be such a thrill for you, not only uh, getting a new head coaching gig, but only four teams in the last 12 years have won 21 or more games. Duke, Kansas, Gonzaga, and your Akron Zips. How exciting is this? Very exciting. Obviously, I uh, have great respect for the, the recent success and the history of coaches and the players. Uh, that come along with that, that have that have uh, you know built uh, Akron basketball into what it is today, and and as I said earlier, I have great respect certainly for Keith and, and uh, as a coach person and what he's you know what he's done here, and excited to uh, to work with the guys to to build on that. As good as the Akron Zips have been, they've never been able to win in the NCAA tournament. Now you've done that three times, twice with Ohio, and of course once with Illinois. You've won multiple times, but I'm talking three different tournaments. So how do you do that with Akron? Kind of sounds like a silly question, as good as they've been, but how do you get those big wins in the postseason? Yeah, I think you just have to honor the process. I said that at the press conference. I think to be a you know, predictor or a prognosticator I, you know, or a comparison person, I think for me is just you know, a waste of time. Uh, I'm more focused on the discipline of what it's going to take every day as we chase excellence and put ourselves in position to do things uh, like you're talking about, and then that, that kind of takes care of itself. What did you learn from your five years at Illinois? Of course, didn't pan out the way you would have liked, but I can imagine coaching in the Big Ten, you can only take away positives from that as you head back to the back. Yeah, I actually enjoyed it. I mean, it was a great five years, very grateful for the relationships that we built. Obviously, things happen for a reason. There's not a person that hasn't told me what a great place this is to live. I mean, I hear that over and over and over, and that's so important to Allison and I because we've got three little ones that mean the world to us, and we're looking forward to becoming uh, you know, active uh, part of the community. Coach, thanks so much for thank your time. Thank you, Pat. And uh, best of luck. This Appreciate season. it. All thank right. you very much. Dave, back to you.